All right, boys. What say you? Get to crack open the time capsule. Well, that guy's not got nice pink and white shoes. I like it. I found your time capsule. <laughs> what? That's amazing, Mr. Detective. That giant's wheel turned out to be the Ferris wheel you could see from the backyard. Ah, oh, the Ferris wheel. Now that I think about it, we did get all giddy calling that thing the giant's wheel. Wait, but this... Isn't this different? I think it's the same color, but... This thing doesn't have a keyhole, see? Eh? You're right, it doesn't. What are you guys talking about? Our time capsule was lockable and had a keyhole. Because we didn't want it to be opened up, obviously. This thing doesn't have a keyhole. But this was in the location that the code led me to. That's weird. Why would that be? Hmm. Well, the only thing I can think of is... There was disturbed earth next to where this capsule was buried. So it looked like someone had been digging there. Eh? Huh? What do you say? It's possible that your time capsule was taken by mistake. In other words. Meaning another person who buried their capsule nearby mistakenly took yours. Eh? What? That's what you think? Yep. yep. Based on what I saw at the scene, that's my hypothesis. The other person dug up your capsule, which does have a keyhole, but it's been so long this person didn't remember his capsule didn't have one. I'm sure if he ever got a look inside, he would realize it wasn't his. But obviously he can't open it since it's locked. <sighs> Seriously? That actually does sound possible. Time capsules were really popular back then. Whatever the case, it certainly seems like your time capsule was taken by a third party. So the only way to get it back is to figure out who took it. Hey, if we take a look inside this time capsule we have here, wouldn't we get an idea of who has ours? Good point. Well, I hope he doesn't mind. Track athlete number, a stuffed bear, and there's a comb here. So maybe it's not a guy after all. It's a girl. Anything that might narrow it down further than that? Hey, look at this. It's a letter. There's a name on it. Yeah? Saya Goto. This is Goto-san's. Whoa, no way. Do you know her? Hi. Yes, she was one of our classmates. We all adored her. <laughs> Hoggy Kubo, didn't you have a crush on Goto-san? Uh, well, yeah. You wanted to confess to her on the day of graduation. You ended up chickening out, not doing it. Uh, I want to see what it says. Let me see. Hey, don't just read someone else's letter. Yeah, not a good idea. Oh, shut it. Mm. What? Hold on. No way. Seriously? What? What's in this letter? It's not great to invade her privacy by reading her letter, but now I'm curious. Hold on, is this truly necessary to the investigation? No, it's necessary to my fucking side quest. No way. Why is this kind of letter inside Goto-san's capsule? Okay, I guess this is necessary to complete the job. Here we go. Excuse me. Um, what's written there exactly? Well, you see... It's a love letter to the person she liked at the time. Eh? What? Really? Well, what's it say? I wanted to confess to you on the day of graduation. Now I regret I wasn't able to do that. Instead, I'll hide my feelings inside this time capsule. Hope that by the time I open this again, my love will be fulfilled. Wow. So there was someone she really, really liked. Who was it? Did she have give a name? Okay. You might want to sit down for this. The name she gives is... Yuta Ogikubo. It was you. What? Seriously? Hold up. You're choking, right? Let me see. Missed out, my guy. It, it's true. Huh. Wow. That's an interesting coincidence, huh? Didn't you also want to confess on graduation day but didn't, Ogikubo-san? Yes, but I never thought Goto-san would possibly feel the same way. Hey, Ogikubo. Just remembered. Didn't you put a love letter in our time capsule, too? You never managed to give it to her. Hmm? Wait, so that means... Well, if you buried your secret feelings inside of time capsules. And then not only did you bury them near each other, 
But first person to come back and dig one up took the wrong one. Only one way to describe this. No, don't say it. This is a crazy coincidence. Yeah. We gotta say it. This is destiny. Come on, Ogikubo. But really, destiny? I hate that game. Anyway, what we need to do now is trade capsules with Goto-san. How do you find her? That's the problem. How about contacting an old classmate and seeing if you can get connected that way? Mm. Mm, I don't know anyone else to contact you beside these guys. I'll search with most people after graduation. Same for me. What about you, Akikubo? Yeah. Same. A lot of people I kept in touch with are you guys. I see. Well then. Would you happen to have a yearbook? Sometimes old years books would list addresses. Mm. Oh, I lost mine. Me too. When I moved. I still have mine, but it's at the boarding house in Osaka, so no time no no time to go get it. Maybe you can contact the school office to see if they have the yearbook from then? Yeah. No, it won't work. I've asked them that question before, because at one point I wanted to look at it. They don't keep the yearbooks. Let's see. And I guess it would be hard to find a lead from a yearbook. In that case, <laughs> you know where they live? Do you have any idea where she lives? I don't know her current address, but... If I recall, at the time, I heard her. she lived around Chinatown in Ijincho. Oh. oh yeah, I think she was the daughter of a Chinese restaurant owner. The daughter of a Chinese restaurant owner in Chinatown. That could be a lot of people, but at least it's a clue. Is there anything else you can ask them? Do you at least know what she looks like? It would be. It would help if you had a photo. If a couple of, if I couple a photo with the knowledge that she lived near Chinatown, probably enough to find her. Did we ever have a picture of her? I definitely don't have one now. You never got a chance to snap Goto's on, did you? But if a picture did exist, it would be in the graduation album. Hmm. I see. I don't have a picture, but I... I could draw a portrait? Of how she looked back then, at least. Oh. oh, that's right. You're an art teacher, aren't you? Yeah, that could be helpful. Could you go ahead and draw that for me? <sighs> no problem. Yeah. Of course, this man knows exactly what she looks like, dude. He's just like, shh, boom. It's like, Jesus, this is picture perfect. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Pretty sure that's how she looked. Oh, it totally is. Yeah, I remember. Yep, yep. That's Goto-san. She always had that sort of gentle look. Yeah, she really captured how refined she was. Not bad. Alright, so maybe if I look for someone who looks like this, but ten years older, I could find her. <laughs> and hey... He finds her. It's time to confess, Ogikubo. Huh? What? Confess? That's right, man. You can't let this chance slip away. Yeah, this is destiny. Your life could change forever. But Goto-san might be married by now, right? We're all 28 years old. Yeah. No, I don't think that's the case. I've heard through the grapevine that she's not married. I'm very interested in finding someone. R really? But still. Kubo, enough's enough. You gotta make a move. You've been carrying around your feelings for Goto-san for ten years. You talked about her during all the rare times we met up. That's right, Okikubo. You need to get closure for all that time in your life and move on, whatever that might be. Uh, yeah, you're right. You guys just might be right. Good. Sounds like you finally get you're finally ready to get it done. Okay. Well, Yagami-san, my fate is in your hands. And head to Chinatown. Yay! We Chinatown. Is my thing for the photograph club ready yet? No? Do I have to wait for daytime? Is that the deal? Because enough time's passed and I can't do any of the other clubs. And on the thing, it doesn't say it's locked out. Like, see, if you look at the little bar down there. Yeah, you know, it has the little lock on it for on the progress bar. That one's locked, that one's locked, 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 locked. But then you go to Photography Club, there's no lock on it. I mean, it's just waiting for you to the thing. So I'm thinking it's like a day and night kind of thing. Can I just like like go to the office then and just like manually change the time or do I have to do story progress to do something like that?
It's more than likely that second one, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I just want to go back to dance club, man. I just want to go back to dance club, I do. Anyway, the lady in Chinatown. The forbidden taste. No. No. All I know is woman in Chinatown. That's all we know. All right. Perfect. Damn it! I keep timing those too late. Oh, I actually rode that. That was tight. Oh, I see it's in behind the taxi marker over there. Big eyes, double eyelids, a pretty nose, small nose, thin lips. Suspicious. Mole under eye. Those aren't thin lips though. Pretty nose. I don't know what constitutes a pretty nose, but I don't think that's it. Oh, never mind. So I have two options you know, that woman down there, this one over here. Just a random NPC. I guess if I had, then had to take a guess, this woman's in front of a restaurant. Hey. Yeah, there we go. Real Mitch is the drawing a little. And then again, rid of the portrait. She's a bit. Her face is much more rounded. She might not be the right person, but I should talk to her. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. Do you have a minute? <laughs> Hello, sir. Are you feeling up for some Chinese food? Our restaurant has everything you could want. It's authentic Chinese, based on our own family recipes. We like to call ourselves the Flava Town of Chinatown. <laughs> and since you're so handsome, I'll treat you extra nice. <laughs> Seems that Goto-san was a relaxed, kind of shy woman, didn't they? Maybe this isn't her. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, but you wouldn't happen to be Saya Goto-san, would you? <laughs> what? How do you know my name? Have we met? <laughs> I can't believe I could possibly forget someone as handsome as you, sir. So it is her. Um, well, here's the thing. Wow, so I took the wrong time capsule? I did think it was strange I had a lock. I didn't even remember having one. But I figured it was so long ago, I just forgot there was a lock. But now it turns out it wasn't my capsule. Oh, well, clearly she never managed to get it open. She hasn't seen Ogikubo's letter. To think I mistakenly took one that belonged to Ogikubo-kun and his friends. It must be fate. 
Anyway, I should contact them. Yeah. <gasps> Is that Kotosan? Yep. yep, no mistake. She's certainly gotten rounder. <laughs> you disappointed, Okikubo? Yakumo? The feelings I've had for ten years aren't going to change because of some surface level thing like that. <laughs> Even now, she looks radiant to me. Alright, that's the spirit. So listen up, here's the plan. We open the time capsule in front of Gotosan, but then, the love letter you couldn't give her ten years ago is right there. At that point, your affections which passed each other like ships in the night will finally be known to each other. <laughs> With a confession like that, not even Gotosan could resist the drug of the tug of Destiny's art strings. Okay, Okubo, go for it. Okay. Gotosan. Huh? It's been a long time. I'm Okikubo. We went to Serio together? Oh, Okikubo kun. It's been so long. The detective told me about the time capsule. I'm so sorry. I took the wrong one. Oh, no, it's, it's fine. I'm actually glad this little mix-up made its cross paths again. Gotosan. <laughs> what a coincidence, huh? Totally. We need to thank the time capsule. <laughs> Looks like it's going good. This might be it. Here you are. This is your time capsule, Okikubo kun. Sorry again. It's okay. Here's yours. Thank you. Uh, by the way, did you happen to look inside? Oh, um, I'm sorry. We did. We need to learn who it belonged to, and um, we read that letter too. Uh, oh, so you saw. Oh wow, that's so embarrassing. Goto-san, actually there's something I want you to see too. What is it? Finally. <laughs> Good luck, Okikubo. It's something important I buried in my time capsule. Inside of it? What's inside, Okikubo-san? Oh, well, it's... Mom! <laughs> yep, not me. Kota, didn't I tell you not to use the front? Huh? <laughs> Mom? Yeah, I figured she's married and has kids, right? Uh-oh, does that mean... Uh, Kota-san, is that your son? <laughs> he's so mischievous. He's a handful, but yes, he's my baby. Y you've been married? Huh? Oh, you don't know? It was kind of a shotgun wedding. Seriously? Oh, wow. Hey, Hanamazuki, did you say Kota-san wasn't married? That was you, right? Oh, it was just gossip after all. If you want to blame someone, blame the rumor mill. You're totally wrong, though. Anyway, you said you wanted to show me something inside the time capsule? What was it? Huh? Uh, oh, uh, that was... Just bittersweet memories that need to be left in the past. Uso. Huh? I'm so curious now. I mean, I got 50k for it. I'll take it. <laughs> Looks like that was the dying gasp of my teenage dreams. Yeah. Now look at it this way, Okakubo. Your youth might have ended, but your life has just begun. Huh? My life? Hell yeah. Now you can finally move on and find real love. Yeah. Maybe you're right about that. Never since I didn't confess at my graduation ceremony, it's been like a weight in the back of my mind. I think it's about time I started moving forward. Nah, you're talking, Okikubo-san. Yeah, excellent. You can finally get with a lady and be rid of the stain of virginity. It's not like I stayed a virgin for her. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Let's march Okikubo to the nearest brothel and help him become a real man. Yeah, no better way to commemorate rejection than with a proper ejection. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like it. You idiots. I've been a virgin my whole life. I'm not going to just hand it over to a stranger, even if she is a professional. Why not? <laughs> Besides, right now I could use a drink. Okay, I can get behind that. Let's go get trashed. <laughs> you and Yagami-san, you want to hit up every bar in Chinatown with us to cheer up Okikubo here? Huh? huh? Me? Of course. You're the whole reason Okikubo's dream went down in flames. Yagami -san. Yeah, Yagami-san. Drinks will be on us. C come on. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'll take you up on that. Hell yeah.
drinking away with my new boys. Let's go. Oh, you hearing rumors? What's the word on the street, ladies? Ever hear about an eye of the dragon? Hmm? What? Maybe it's around. I think I actually did pick up an eye of a dragon around there. Anywho, that wraps that up. Oh, right. Uh, Iyama wanted roses. That's right, I did accidentally start that uh, side case over there because I was, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that. Because I needed to go to Iyama for some, uh, what was that? Just because I know this one responds there. Hello, boys. Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, I started that one because I needed to head to Iyama's extract shop to get some stuff for uh, the robotics club. So I accidentally started that. So I figured we'll just take a straight shot. The Rose Garden! Yeah! Hell yeah. Flowers to go. Need roses. Did it tell me how many I needed? Body model walks at night. The forbidden taste. Paradise VR. Extract the past. Extract extracting the truth. That's what we're looking for. Details. Any luck? Okay, if I just go to tasks, it should be there. Yeah. Deliver roses to Ayama. Rose. I'm assuming I just need one? I'll grab two for good measure. Because the task does say rose is. So I, th so I figure I'll show up with plural and if I don't need that many, well, you know what? It's enough. And since that's the nearest one, might as well go that way. <laughs> it's been all the time buying roses and then it's just like oh yeah here's a rose by the way thank you oh shit actually worked I thought I'd just like bounce off the windshield like I have before it's like nah boy you gonna fly you gonna ride right up that vehicle Yama, my man I heard you want some roses I got you, my guy. What's next? What's next on the agenda? Excuse me. Yeah, what you need? <laughs> Wonderful. Let's have it. The Willow Snake. Can we ASAP? We'll have the H code. I'll figure out. We might even discover new recipe soon. Anyway, we'll be needing some garlic next. Garlic, you got it. So did it just take one, or I'm curious. Be under miscellany. Yeah, it just took one. Okay, so I only need one thing of garlic. Where the hell do I get garlic? I'm guessing some kind of food stall. Deliver garlic. Uh, 
Okay, hey, listen, don't judge me, but we're gonna get walked through with it. I'm gonna go to my history. I'm gonna go to Jesus Christ. There we go. Almost there. Materials another. Okay. Rogue control F action. Where do I find the garlic? Not the cigarette, but garlic. Heroes harvest. All right. Easy find. Easy find. Which is right over here, right? Yep, Heroes Harvest. Hey, fuck! Alright, well, we're doing this now. I love doing that. <laughs> the fucking, like, really, air jump shit. That's tight. Oh, excuse me. That was rude. I'm in. And I'm out. One garlic, please. Are we throwing down? Ha! Yeah. And stay down. Boy. Okay, so back to a yacht. Jump it! Ah, oh, shit. Apparently, I can't jump that fence. Okay. I can jump the sidewalk. Yeah! Jump the taxi. Can't jump the taxi. Gotcha. Am I just helping Iyama out with a date or something? I laughed that's what it was. Just like, can you give me some roses? Oh, can you give me some garlic? It's definitely not for a meal I'm cooking for a woman or anything. Excuse me. Do yeah, what you need. Thanks uh, for being diligent. Has uh, research. Better thanks to you. You remember Yoshikawa, the college professor. Because of what you've supplied with us, you've been able to decipher all sorts of information. Each discovery is more thrilling than the last. Man, that does sound exciting. You might actually discover something about your past after all. That is my hope. According to Yoshikawa Sensei, he's almost cracked the code in its entirety. So I'll be counting on you to finish gathering up those materials. Awesome, I won't let you down. Thank you. Next up is our four-leaf clover. Do you think you can get your hands on one? Four-leaf clover, I'll see if I can find any. I might already have one. I have two. <laughs> yeah, what you need. Oh, thank you, yogi son. Exchange? My first speed might find useful. The dancing crane. Yeah, I figured this is like important cutscene time. <laughs> yeah, Masan. I've done it. The codex. It all makes sense to me now. Eh? You don't say. Then please, tell me what's in there. Well, some of it might be hard to swallow. But if we choose to believe what's written here, and it seems our ancestors, Yamasan, were in fact Chinese sorcerers who crossed the ocean in ages past. They later became the hermits of the mountains. Hmm? Hermits, you say? Yes. Your clan was fiercely devoted to the study of what you call extracts, but in the Codex they're called elixirs. The reason they emigrated to Japan is not stated. Anyhow, not long after their arrival, they were made into vassals of a prominent ruling family after demonstrating their miraculous powers. Elixirs in hand, they treated illnesses, warded off invaders, and improved their domain's livelihood in many ways. It seemed that life was good for them. Oh, my goodness! So they're not even from this country. However, as the wheels of history turn, they eventually sought refuge in the wilderness. Does that mean... Refuge? From what? Well, a certain local lord began coveting their power, intending to use it to conquer the surrounding territory. 
Are you saying they were forced to use their elixirs for war? Evidently, that was the plan. An army that could heal any injury or summon supernatural strength would have certainly been unstoppable. But the clan despised that notion and fled to the remote mountains. And, to prevent from being found, they became nomads. They also began writing in code, obscuring their secrets from those who would exploit them, which would explain the mystery of this codex. I see. And then, Yamasa, you might really be a hermit after all. Or at least, a descendant of one. Ha! Huh. So my ancestors renounced a life of comfort, and even defied the government, all to keep their work from being exploited. What fine people they were. Now that I think about it, Yamasa also didn't want his work getting exploited, as he's inherited their spirit. Yoshikawa-san, let me ask you, is this a historical record or more of a myth that the culture invented? That is the question, isn't it? Yamasan, as a researcher, it's my responsibility to sort fact from fiction. My understanding is that this codex was written as a way of passing down the clan's legacy. The story it tells is certainly compelling. But, unfortunately, I can't think of a single historical document that can corroborate the tale we just heard. So, as a researcher, I cannot acknowledge what's written here as indisputable fact. You see. In other words, but don't most legends and myths have some truth to them? And depending on who interprets them, the story may change? You're very sharp. When we study ancient cultures, it's important to remember that imagination was just as real to them as observation is to us. All myths lead to truth on some level. That makes sense. I can accept that. And I'll tell you this, Yoshikawa-sensei. In spite of everything, our ancestors managed to faithfully hand down their tradition through the ages. And now that tradition's been properly handed to me. To me, that's all I care about. No matter how true or made up, it's enough to give my life real meaning. Yes, you've made a salient point just now. The identity of a community, a culture, is built upon shared traditions. And it is these traditions that have held communities together and allowed them to flourish, legend or not. This knowledge is priceless. Mm. Yes, and thanks to what I learned today, I like to put it, it's as if my entire life I was tossed in all directions by the wind. But now my feet have firm ground to walk on. I finally have the foundation I was searching for. I can only imagine. Here's something else for you. I found another passage stating that, somewhere in the mountains of Shinshu, lies a secret resting place for your people. If you'd like, why don't we go visit together? You take me to my ancestors' graves. I'm sure they'd be proud of you, Yamasan. Haven't you spent your life carrying on their legacy? You should greet them with your head held high. Uh, maybe so. Then, how about once I wrap up things at the shop, you and I take a trip. After a lifetime of searching for closure, I finally found the answer to my past. Words can I express my gratitude, Yakumi-san. Yep. I could help you, Yamasan. All I did was grab a rose and some garlic, and somehow I solved the mystery of this dude's past. That's amazing. <laughs> you did wonders for me, Yagmi-san. Sir, I brought you a flower and a fucking vegetable. Whatever the fuck garlic classifies as. I brought you groceries. And somehow I say I saved the day with groceries. The forbidden taste. How many play passes do I have? If any. I don't think I have any. I might have some. We'll see. So opening, is that Rasen then? I'm assuming. I can't wait to meet Skino again. I miss Skino. Skino chick. Chips. Gukta, speedboat. Yeah, the Lambda. Room. Arctic fit. She broke again. Noise amp. Mr. Scored. Okay, so play passes. Will they show up even if I have none? I doubt it. These are all materials and whatnot. Battle reports. Data. Ball. Gonna go out on a limb and say I don't have any play passes. Cool. So I can't progress that one any further. What I can do though is I can go down to the Forbidden Taste. Also, might as well check, but I'm sure. If I go to Tasks, School Stories. Oh! It looks like the photography one might have reappeared. 
definitely worth to go to, to go check it out. Like even if it's not there, there I know there's at least a side case waiting for me over there. I missed it. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> oh, damn it. I waited too long. Shit. Alright. Let's go. there. Doesn't look like it is. I can try talking to her, I guess. Because, like, at least if I talk to her, you know, and then be like, uh, usually if I try talking to them, it'll be like, you can't progress until you do this thing. So at least once I know what that thing is, you know, then I can stop wandering around waiting for it to happen. Yeah, give me the door. Thank you. Oh, no. There it is. I was waiting for a marker to appear, but, uh, nope. Tori Bay. Yagami san! <laughs> What's up? Did something happen? Hey, I saw something. No? What was it? You know Saiga Sensei? He teaches social studies? Nope. Saiga Sensei? No, I don't know him. Well, I pumped into him in the hallway earlier, and he dropped a piece of paper. So I picked it up for him, and it was a letter. Hmm? What sort of letter? It was a typed letter, so I think it was probably... Blackmail. What? Blackmail? What kind of threat was in it? Take a look at it yourself. I've got it right here. Huh? Really? Why's that? Uh, I picked it up, I, uh, just ran off without thinking. Huh. What's up with you? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking. But anyway, here's the letter. Hmm. Alright, I'll look. You're dating Mariko Machikawa, third year student. Oh god. I have photographic proof. What a shameful thing to do, having an affair with your student. While your wife and child wait for you at home. If you don't want to share this terrible shame with the entire world, come tonight to the second floor of the parking garage on South Sakura River Street. Bring two million yen. Come alone, no funny business. Or I'll have to tell my friends, the professor in the Neokei gang, by the way, all about your disobedience. Th this is. It was in an envelope which also had a photo inside. Oof. It says the professor's behind everything. I know, and I can't tell if it's true, but we can't just ignore it, right? Yeah. I don't think so. Hmm? Huh? Toribe, where's that letter? Hmm. Oh, um... Where'd you hide it? Give it back! You know, when it comes to stuff like this, I'm grateful for the MRC. What? I'm really sorry. It was a bit much for me to handle, so I gave it to Amasawa-san of the Mystery Research Club. What? what? If Amasawa reads I'll be in way more trouble. Sorry, Amasawa Senpai. Wow. Alrighty then. Yagami-san, will you help me investigate this blackmail case? Just tell me whenever you're ready to take it on. Yeah. Sure thing. 
I'm ready whenever. Let's go, kid. What are we taking pictures of today? <laughs> Specific location is inside this parking garage, at the rear of the second floor. Do you feel like there's kind of a lot of shady looking men in the parking lot? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the guys from the Neo Kahin gang. Maybe they're keeping watch so no outsiders can enter. Maybe the blackmailer was telling the truth. So you mean they and the professor could be working with the blackmailer? Yeah. Could be. That'd be a pretty lucky guess for me, though. Well then. What are you going to do? I'm going to sneak in and take the photos. That's what you want, isn't huh? it? You're still going to do yeah. it? Of course. I came this far. Might as well stick it out to the end. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So, what kind of picture should I take this time? Oh, one that clearly shows the blackmailer's face, please. Yeah, it'd be super great if you could catch him right as he's receiving the money. Gotcha. Okay, I'll give my best shot. Haha. -ha. Good one, Yagami. Better be careful here. Oh, we're doing stealth, huh? Of course, a dill will have to come this way. Ah, I, I can't back out of this. No. You definitely didn't just see that, sir. Let's get a guy over here. Wait for it. Don't sleep. Take a nap, bud. <laughs> Take a nap, bud. I didn't realize just how many dudes there were lined up here.
Oh. Whoops. God damn it. Yeah, okay. That's what I get for being impatient. 100% my fault. Better be careful here. Good old smoke screen powder. A classic, really. Position. No. Better go peep that, dude. That's crazy stuff. Baby boy. Time out. Now this other dude, I could probably get him without having to do anything special with it. Because he'll come back. We'll stop there. As long as I'm quick with it, I should be able to get to him. Am I gonna be fucked? Oh, I'm gonna be oh. fucked returns. Shit. God damn it. I wanted to take the easy way out. That was my bad. Son of a bitch. It just seems like I should be able to go right up to him. And I probably could have if I would have stayed back in the normal hiding spot. Yes, I know. Get the photos. Shut up. I don't know why it's gonna start with the cutscene every time. Quite clearly, I've seen the cutscene. Item Smokescreen Powder. Great. Lovely. Wonderful. Love to see it. Take my position here. There's the old coin throw. Wait for this motherfucker to come back and be within range. Come on, buddy. Closer, closer. Go get the coin, buddy. You know you want it. Oh. Hey! That's bullshit. That is bullshit. That has worked every single time before. Why now is this motherfucker like, oh, I see you? Why now? That is bullshit. Oh, why is my face itch? Uh, quit with the fucking cutscene. Why can't it just cut back to, like, you know, me actually being there? Be careful here. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take my position again. Up against the car. Okay, wait for him to start walking back. Yeah, there you go. Target the ground, wait for the option to open up. Throw the coin. Son of a bitch! Why does that keep happening now? <laughs> I mean, honestly, what the fuck? Uh, 
ha ha ha! Fuck you, cutscene. It doesn't make sense. Better be careful. Here. I swear to God, this game's just trying to fucking come up with as many ways to piss me off as possible. Because there's literally zero reason why I shouldn't be working now. There's no reason. But after all this time, now it doesn't want to work. Okay, apparently I have to wait for the exact moment for him to be right there. Look at that coin, dude. It's crazy, right? Okay. Now this time, we'll pause the proper spot. And literally none of his friends heard that, huh? That's a good boy. There we go. Man, that could have been <laughs> so easy had I done that properly the first time around. Instead of being a fucking dumbass about it. Your Saga Sensei. Looks like he's waiting for someone. Hmm? That guy. Is that Hikawa? The former president of the photography club? He's the blackmailer? It can't be. Whatever the case, I need to snap a photo. Let's capture your cow's delinquency without being noticed. Don't tell me I have to start all the way the fuck over again. I swear to god I will whoop someone's ass. Okay.
Go on then. Huh? Who? Where? Oh, there. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Goddamn double patrolling guards. Just have one patrolling, yeah? Seriously, I'll get ahead of the guards. Ah, I'll never see it coming. Fuck you. Come over in this corner. And it's also the only place where I can get a fucking... Go ahead. And over the envelope. And over the envelope. Do it. There we go. Picture perfect, bitch. Perfect. Nice. Got a good shot. It's time to get out of here. You no doubt. No, no way. Master Ikawa? Yeah. Yeah. Let's question him later. I... No. I don't believe it. I know how you feel, Master. but... I'm going to question him. God damn it, you little shit. Oh, hey! Jeez. I hate this old turd. Toribe? Master Ikawa. Toribe, hold up. Stop, you bastard. You're gonna be son, too. Master. Master Ikawa, why would you blackmail Saiga sensei? <laughs> what are you talking about? the photo, idiot. <laughs> this is... Why would you do it? Hey. You only told us not to pursue the professor of your own ass, didn't you? You Yagami? Kokosan told me all about you. Here you're sticking your nose pretty deep into our business. No way. So out of the two million being extorted, how much were you guys going to take as your cut? Who knows? But it shouldn't matter to you since I'm about to cave your skull in. Yagami-san! Yeah, this is why you don't rush forward into shit, you dipshit. <laughs> you three stay back. Unsavory men. I'm gonna whoop some ass. Blue style! I can launch over the railing. Fuck yeah. Eh, <laughs> nerd. Oh, the leapfrog throw is dope. Get up again, please. Let me toss you over like this. Yes! Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, that is fucking great. Yeet. The leap leapfrog throw off the fucking railing. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's too good. It's too good. You go. Hey. We're using the professor's underground site. 
Yes. That's where I found out about Saigasan's affair. An underground site? Something like that actually exists? That's the reason there's a rumor about you and Morika Machikawa having a relationship. What? Is that true? In other words... And the site is where you secretly took photographs in order to blackmail him. The story when the professor contacted me. He said if I wanted to know more about Saika Sensei's affair, he'd be willing to tell me whether where I could catch him in their next tryst. Huh? So the professor gave you a tip? Yeah. I don't know how he knew about the affair, but he knew at the time and place their next rendezvous point. I see. Even for a detective, tailing a target for multiple days investigating an affair, that's tough. It's easier if you know their travel route, of course. I can't believe any of this got out. Master! Master Ikawa, why would you do such a thing? Using photos to blackmail others? You've told me so many times that photography is art. I just need money to finish my education. Wait, at the university? But... How much do you think it costs to attend a private university for four years, while living alone? It's outrageous if you're doing a doctorate. <sighs> Even if that's true... Look, I gave up my pride today for a better tomorrow. I'm willing to do anything to make my dreams come true. Master. Master Ikawa, please look at this. What is it? <laughs> look at your face, Master Ikawa. That's the look of a total criminal. <laughs> you want to avert your eyes, don't you? You don't want to see this photo because it makes you into an object you hate. Yes, my face looks evil. I looked evil as I blackmailed Psycho Sensei. <sighs> I hate seeing your face like this. I... I respect you so much, Master. Doribe, I'm sorry, I... Well, Psycho Sensei. Huh? Yes? Excuse me. Why don't we talk about what happens next? What are the consequences? And what should be done with Ikawa? Uh, sure. Agnesan. Don't worry. Don't be too hard on him. Also, you know, maybe... <laughs> what are the consequences of dude fucking his student? Don't lie to me. That picture showed him walking out of a love hotel. I know what's going on in there. They ain't just playing fatty cake if you catch my drift. They're fucking. Yagami-san. Oh, hi, Yagami-san. Yeah. Hey. Excuse me. Um, so how did yesterday's discussion go about Master Ikawa's punishment? Yeah. No, I talked to that with Saiga-sensei. He agreed he was partially at fault, and he got his money back anyway, so he decided not to punish Ikawa. Oh, thank goodness. Saiga-sensei seemed to regret his actions, though. He's going to step down. Really? Toribe. Oh, and Toribe. There's one other thing. I'm about Ikawa. Hmm? Master? I just submitted my notice of withdrawal from the school. Huh? What? Why? I thought you weren't going to be punished. Saiga so Sensei forgave me, but I can't forgive myself. The photo you showed had that much of an impact. I have to say, in a truly Nietzschean eternal return of capitalism, I lost sight of myself as I materialized my own existence. <sighs> but what are you going to do about your doctorate? <laughs> I can go back to school whenever I want. There's something else which can only be done right now. Mm -hmm. What's that? I decided to travel across various countries, take pictures and all of them. Huh? What? The demon within me whispered. Are you sure you want to indulge yourself in some old Japanese university all throughout your precious teens and twenties? The truth is, I've been lost this whole time. But I was able to break out of it, Toribe. Thanks to you. Master. <laughs> There's your Ahaben. Exactly. I don't understand any of this. <laughs> First, I'll be going to the Asian mainland. Then India. Maybe Tibet. Those are the places where Buddhism was birthed. The places wh which contain the philosophy of all creation. I'm going to these lands to discover the body without organs inside of myself, which has been poisoned by consumerism. I don't want to be a sophist who just gathers knowledge and stays in an avery tower. I'd rather be an egg. Hey. Hey, I don't understand any of what you're saying, but just don't go anywhere dangerous, alright? Ha! <laughs> I know. I can't enjoy philosophy or art if I'm dead. Well, it's time for me to leave so I can get where it, so I can get there in time to board the ship. Okay, bye. 
He was a weird guy, but at least he was excited about withdrawing from school. That's something positive. Yes. Yeah, Master Ikawa is still an incredible guy. Uh, because of his principles, of course. 